Lionel Messi chose to play in NMLS, but he's still Saudi Arabia's $25 million pitch man. Since touching down on American soil a few weeks ago, Lionel Messi, the undisputed maestro of the beautiful game, has already orchestrated a symphony of spectacular goals. From a scintillating stoppage time winner in his Inter Miami to boot to his two first half goals in his second game, the 36-year-old is already leaving his mark on U.S. soccer. Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel, I am Mela. Hope your day is so well. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Yet as Messi mania sweeps across the U.S., another country stands on the sidelines, eagerly watching the fruits of the Argentinians' continued triumphs, Saudi Arabia. A couple of months ago, Messi spurned an unprecedented $400 million a year offer to play for Al Hilal in Saudi Arabia after parting ways with Paris Saint Germain. Instead, he opted to play for the Miami franchise co owned by David Beckham. It was an unexpected decision that dealt a blow to the kingdom's ambitions to attract the sport's biggest stars to its domestic league. Over the past few years, Saudi Arabia has emerged as one of the major players in the sports world. The kingdom hosts an array of international sports events, including an annual Formula One race, the TV shows, the world's richest horse race, as well as some of the biggest heavyweight boxing bouts in recent memory. The country's sovereign wealth fund, known as the Public Investment Fund, also financed the purchase of the Premier League's Newcastle United and a partnership with the PGA Tour. The kingdom has also spent extraordinary figures to lure top footballers such as Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, and Karim Benzema to its domestic league. By luring some of the world's top athletes and sports leagues, Saudi Arabia was announcing itself as a global hub for sports, entertainment, and tourism. It is a soft power strategy that helps present the kingdom as a reformed nation and appealing destination for individuals and businesses alike. Seducing Messi to play in the Saudi Pro League would have marked the crown jewel of the kingdom's sports drive. Some may have thought Messi's choice of the U.S. over Saudi Arabia was a tacit criticism of Saudi Arabia's repressive and regressive policies towards women, free speech advocates, and the LGBT community, although others would argue that Florida isn't exactly leading the world in those areas either. But while Messi ultimately snubbed Riyadh's offer, it was for personal. His family reportedly love Miami's beach life, rather than ethical reasons. He continues to maintain a formal partnership with the kingdom through his role as a tourism ambassador for Saudi Arabia. Messi's commercial deal with Saudi's tourism authority is worth approximately $25 million over three years, a huge amount, but we should remember that he does not need the money. His obligations include tourism campaigns, social media posts, charity appearances, and all expenses paid vacations, the most recent of which took place in May. Given that Messi is one of the most popular athletes on the planet, his continued willingness to promote Saudi Arabia is a significant boon for the kingdom. And the fact that he remains under contract with the oil-rich country while playing on U.S. soil only serves to draw more attention to the Saudi state. While Saudi Arabia would have enjoyed the bragging rights of having the best footballer in the world playing in their domestic league, Messi's growing popularity in the U.S. could be beneficial to the kingdom as it continues to expand its soft power and rebrand itself as an attractive destination for tourists. 